How's it going everybody? You know who it is. My name is Sun Wu and today we are gonna make a lo-fi beat on the OPZ. Let's get right into it. Alright, let's use the chords track to make a little melody. In this case I chose the EP synth engine which I believe is some kind of FM synth and I like to use that one to approximate an electric guitar sound. I like to start with my melody first very often because I find it most inspiring rather than laying out the drums first. Okay, this time I want to enter my notes step by step and I can do this easily by holding down the record button and entering my notes. And this is what it sounds like. Now I find this a little bit bland, so I'm gonna switch up an octave or two and add another little melody or just some simple notes on top to make it more interesting. Yep, that's alright to me, let's start adding some hi-hats. Okay, here are my hi-hat sounds. I'm gonna pitch them up a little bit. This one is good. I'm gonna shift it over by holding down the step and pressing the plus button. And now I'm copying it. And I'm also gonna multiply this step right here. Let's hear it. Wonderful. Now let's add something else. Yep, I'm gonna put this one there. And copy it over here. Now I think I want to add a hi-hat from a different pitch, maybe even the same one I used before, this one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna add it here, copy it over there, copy one over here and I want to add one on top of this. So I gotta go back to my original pitch on the keyboard, hold down the step, press this one again and now go down two octaves with the minus button and add the other one. Wonderful! All right, that has a nice swing. Now let's add the other drums starting with the snare drum. Again, we go up an octave. Yep, this one is good. Yep. All right, and we move on to the kick drum. So this is our kick drum. We're gonna put it here, here and here. And these right here. I'm gonna put a step multiplier right here. And I'm going to switch up the velocities right here. And maybe edit these ones a little bit in terms of how often they are being played. And this one as well, I want only every second time. Okay, let's hear it. Wonderful. Now let us move on to our bassline track. 
All right, here we are using a deep 808 style bass. Okay, now let us add some chords using the lead track. And our chords, we're gonna keep very simple. Just two chords. Let's hear it. And in order to get a nice lo-fi wobble effect, I am going to use the one-shot LFO um, in order to change the pitch when the sound is starting. So I am going to play it first again without the pitch change and then we're going to turn the depth of the pitch change on. So that's without the change. Now I'm going to do it extreme so you notice. I think that's still noticeable now, but not overpowering. So let's listen again. Okay, now let us add maybe another main melody or solo kind of part using the arpeggiator track. Okay, we have our melody. Now let's add some trickery using the tape track. Okay, our tape track is only affecting what we played just now, that little solo melody, whatever you want to call it. And I turned the pitch all the way up, meaning the tape track is going to play exactly one octave above what's played on the arpeggiator track right here, meaning it is going to be in tune. Also, you could pitch it one octave down if you go all the way down using this encoder. But we're going to select one octave up right now. And let's add some steps. And hear it. Okay, we got only one track left. Let's use the sample track and add some drums on top. All right, we got the roughly chopped drum break here. Um, I'm just gonna enter it like this. And maybe I'm gonna shorten my pattern to be only this long. Now let's hear it. Sounds all right, but I'm gonna cut out some low end so it doesn't compete with our kick drum and our bass too much. That's better already. And now I am gonna introduce lots of reverb so it's even better separated from the rest of the sounds. As you can hear, those drums really sound like they're far away now and just adding some atmosphere to the beat. And maybe I could even mix them in a little bit lower. I don't know, I might do that later on. But I think it's a nice way to give some organic flavor to your beats if your drums are not sounding organic enough. And once again, here we are. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. You already know if you enjoyed it, 
leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And if you want to support the channel further, check the links in the description. But for now, let's have a listen to the beat after we've done some woo to it.